Hey Scrappers, Tom from iScrap, and we had a question come from YouTube talking about tantalum capacitors, how to identify and how to sell them. Now, now I'm gonna come right out of the box. I have bought and sold tantalum a dozen times over 15 year career. So my expertise on tantalum is not that high. So I don't want to sit here and try to blow smoke up you, you know, your smoke, your skirt here and, and get you all riled up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look for tantalum. Tantalum is a very expensive metal. You can find it in all types of different refinery processes, and they also use it inside of the electronic world in certain capacitors. Now, what I do know, generally small square-like capacitors that are yellow will be tantalum-based capacitors. But from the people that I have spoken to that have bought these before, they generally don't buy them very high because there's not gonna be a lot of tantalum. Even if you get a pound of these capacitors, at best case, best case you're getting half an ounce or less of tantalum recovery so while tantalum could be 30 40 50 70 bucks a pound sometimes depending on the markets most scrapyards aren't gonna buy it from you if they are gonna buy it from you they're gonna buy it super super cheap at my scrapyard if you come in with tantalum capacitors I'm gonna pass on it because I don't have a market for it. So this might be one of those internet items where you look for people that do know about it online. And if you're really looking to learn about it, I would suggest researching online, going to our YouTube page, asking people questions, using the Facebook group through iScrap, you know, learning and asking questions on there. But I would suggest that it be more of a part-time project than a full-time hustle or even something that you focus on. I would focus on other things like general e-scrap, motherboards, power supplies, things like that. But on the tantalum side of things, I don't know any applications inside of a house that use tantalum or the car industry that uses tantalum because it's so rare that if you ever find it and you don't have an XRF analyzer to know what it is in raw form, to find capacitors, they don't have the words tantalum or the, the scientific periodic table of elements little symbol TA, they don't have it stamped on there. So it's really tough. So, you know, it's not much information about tantalum, but hopefully this gives you an idea to learn something, you know, to, to research more. So summarize, tantalum could be very expensive. It's very rare. It's not used often in day-to-day -day consumer electronics but if you do find it, researching prices and online buyers will probably be your best bet to make money. Thanks for checking out our scrap videos. By becoming a Patreon supporter today, you'll be entered into monthly giveaways for tools and other products to help you make more money with your scrap.